Hello guys, once again welcome back to my channel Mariner Shian. If you are new to this channel, you know what to do. The topic of today's discussion is latent heat and sensible heat. We will be studying about it in a much more descriptive and practical sense so that it will be useful for us in our future life. Yes. We all know that substance exists in three forms, solid, liquid and gaseous form. Let's take the example of water. At solid stage, it is in the form of ice that is solid and when ice start to melt, it goes to the state of water that is liquid stage and when external heat is applied to water, it changes to gaseous state that is water vapor. Liquid state to gas state is done by boiling and liquid state to solid stage is done by freezing. Now let's come to our real topic, latent heat and sensible heat. Sensible heat, as the name suggests, we can sense the heat. That means when there is rise or dip in temperature, we can sense the heat through any temperature measuring device like thermometer or any other device. Let's talk with some real life example. Water boils at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, as we all know, at one atmospheric pressure. So guys, as you manipulate the pressure, the boiling point also varies, as we all know it, PV equal to NRT. At an average, the water temperature would be around 30 to 34 degrees Celsius, and it varies as per ambient temperature, as we all know it. Ambient temperature plays a vital role in the temperature of water. So guys, once you heat the water, the temperature of the water keeps on changing from 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70 until 100 degrees Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius is the saturation temperature as we all know it. So guys, this change in temperature can be measured and can be sensed by thermometer or any temperature measuring device. So guys, this change in temperature from 30 to 100 degrees Celsius is known as sensible heat, which you can sense it and measure it by temperature measuring device like thermometer. As the temperature keeps on varying from 30 to 100 degrees Celsius, the phase remains constant. The water is still in liquid form. The phase haven't changed. The phase is constant. But the temperature keeps on varying from 30 to 100 degrees Celsius. That's your sensible heat. Now, when the water reaches 100 degrees Celsius, that is your saturation temperature. Now guys, you will be asking me what is saturation temperature. Saturation temperature is the temperature at which substance boils and condenses. It's a special kind of temperature. It's a special point where the substance will boil and condense at the same time. So guys, here exists two conditions at 100 degrees Celsius. The water will be in the form of liquid as well as water vapor. Now, if we again heat the water, what will happen? The change of phase occurs from liquid to gaseous state. So the phase have been changed. Here phase is not constant as we have discussed earlier in the sensible heat. The phase is being changed from liquid to gaseous state. But the temperature remains constant here. That is 100 degree itself. There is no increment in temperature. But the phase have been changed from liquid to gaseous state. The heat added here it is known as latent heat. Now the water have been transformed to water vapor. And if we again heat the water vapor what will happen? There will be increment in temperature from 101 to 102, 103 to 104 and so on. So guys, the temperature is being increased from 101 to 104 and so on. You can see it as we add more heat to the water vapor. So guys, the temperature keeps on varying. But the phase here remains constant. So guys, you know what I am going to talk. As the phase remains constant here, the temperature is varying. So what's that? The heat being added, it is known as sensible heat. Now guys, listen it very carefully. I will be talking something out of the box. The sensible heat added to the water vapor above its boiling point is known as superheat. So guys, note it down somewhere, it is very important term superheat. We are using it consistently in our refrigeration and air conditioning system. Superheat. I think just one example is not enough to explain latent heat, sensible heat and even superheat. So guys, let's go and explore one more example. If you want to make 
ice out of water what you do you keep the tray of water in the refrigerator quite simple right yes so guys when you keep the water that is tray of water in the refrigerator what will happen the temperature of the water keeps on dropping from 34 degrees celsius to lower term like 24 14 4 till 0 degrees celsius so guys the heat of the water is being absorbed by the refrigerant and refrigerant itself vaporizes and goes to the compressor so guys that's quite simple but the temperature keeps on dropping from 34 degrees celsius till 0 degrees celsius the temperature varies but here the phase remain constant that is liquid will remain in the form of liquid only the water will be in the form of water only so guys that's your sensibility it's quite simple there is change in temperature but the phase remain constant that is in the form of liquid that's your sensible heat now the water is at 0 degrees celsius if you again cool down the water what will happen the water will change to ice the liquid phase will be transformed to solid phase but there is no dip in temperature the temperature is still 0 degrees celsius so guys this particular process is known as latent heat here there is change of phase from liquid to solid but the temperature remain constant that's your latent heat now guys if we again cool down the ice what will happen the temperature keeps on dropping from minus 1 to minus 2 minus 2 to minus 3 and so on the temperature will keeps on dropping that is the temperature is not constant here but the phase remain constant here that is solid phase to solid phase itself ice will be in the form of ice there is no change of phase but the temperature keeps on varying that's your sensible heat i really hope that you understood the concept of latent heat sensible heat and even super heat i really hope that this video was quite informative one for you guys if you find this video very useful share with your friends and yeah guys don't forget to press the subscribe button and press on the bell icon so that you get notification when i upload much more interesting videos like this so guys see you all next time thank you and have a nice day